Raster PDFs are essentially bitmap files, and bitmap files are usually quite a bit larger than JPG. So converting our raster PDFs to JPEG is a good way to reduce file size and save space. There are plenty of other reasons to make this conversion, of course, and the important thing is we can easily carry out our conversion using the Cloudmersive Image Processing Connector in Power Automate. Let's click Create and walk through a quick manually triggered Instant Cloud Flow. Let's select those options and click Create to head to the Flow Diagram page. Let's first click New Step and set up a Get File Content step to grab our PDF file content. I'll be using a file that I have stored in OneDrive. Next, let's click New Step again and type Cloudmersive into the search bar. From the list of options below, let's click on the Cloudmersive image processing connector with the yellow logo. You'll notice I jumped straight to the actions list after selecting this connector, but if it's your first time, you'll instead encounter an authorization step before you get there. This will ask you for an API key, which you can get for free by registering a free account on the Cloudmersive website. Through this account tier, you can get up to 800 API calls per month with no additional commitments. Let's now go ahead and search Convert Image to JPG from the Actions list, and then let's select it once it comes up. You'll notice the name of the action doesn't specify PDF, and that's because this API actually accepts about 100 unique image formats. It's also important to note that this will only work for one-page conversions, so if you have a multi-page file, it will only convert the first page. At the top, we can specify the exact quality of our output JPG image through the first field with an integer between 1 and 100, with 1 representing the lowest possible quality and 100 representing the highest. I'll enter 75 to retain some quality. We can then parse our file in using the dynamic content window, and at the bottom, we just need to enter a random file name with the correct file extension. To wrap up, we can click New Step and quickly set up a Create File action that uses the output encoding from our previous step to create a new image file. I'll be using OneDrive once again. Now I'll quickly save and test my flow so you can see the output. My new image file is at 75 quality, which is still representative of the original file I converted. Reducing that number will proportionately reduce the file size, but even the highest quality here should still be lower than the original bitmap or vector PDF. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more Power Automate tips and demonstrations.